Hi guys, here is the next OpenGL tutorial in which I will load a vertex and a fragment shader and finally draw a triangle. In a previous OpenGL tutorial I showed how to open a window with an OpenGL context and we also included the glue library. Now we are able to load OpenGL shaders, namely vertex and fragment shaders. Two very simple examples are added here to the shaders folder. This is a vertex shader for OpenGL version 4 that just assigns the position it gets as input to the output GL position. The simplest one you can think of. And this is a fragment shader that no matter what sets the used color to a kind of purple tone. So we don't go into detail for writing shaders in this video, I will do this in the future one, so for now just keep in mind that shaders are attached to shader programs that run on your graphic card. It executes a programmable stage of the rendering pipeline and it has inputs and outputs. A vertex shader handles the processing of individual vertices. And the fragment shader processes fragments generated by rasterization into colors and a depth value. So you can say it takes care of the appearance of pixels between the vertices. But I will come back to this in a special video. For this tutorial here I wrote a little C++ helper class called ShaderUtil that you can use to load both the vertex and fragment shader. This is done in the load method where I use streams and buffer iterators to load the shader files, a very quick and dirty implementation but for the sake of this short introduction I think it's okay. Then I create a shader program and store the program ID as a member variable, we will need this later on. Ok, then I create and compile the shaders, therefore I wrote a separate private method called getCompiledShader. I call this for the vertex and the fragment shader and the ID of the created shader is returned as unsigned int. In the method I call createShader and compile it and then I get the compile status to check if there are any errors and if this is the case I print them out as standard error. In the end I return the shader ID. Alright, after that I attached the shaders to the shader program that I created, link and validate it and then it is ready to be used. The shaders can be deleted at this point. To actually use the shader program you can call the use method and if you don't need it anymore just call delete. Ok, now let's come back to our main cpp file and include the header of the shader util. And at this point here when we know that glue and the OpenGL context is initialized correctly, I create a local shader util variable and call the load method with the two shader files as parameters. After that we have to define what we actually want to draw. We will draw a triangle, for which I define the points as an array of floats. Now that I have three points here, I have to create, bind and initialize a buffer for vertex attributes and three points, which are six floats. Then I enable the vertex attribute array and use the function glvertexAttrib pointer to tell OpenGL that each vertex that we want to draw is defined by two floats in our point array. Ok, and then I call use of the shader util to use our shader program before we go ahead and call glDrawArrays to draw the three points of the triangle in the while loop. And when we are done, we can delete the shader program. So now we can build our project, start it, and here's our purple triangle. Have a look at how the points of the array match those of the triangle. Here the left one, the top, and the right one, clockwise. 
Alright guys, that's it. I uploaded the Visual Studio 2017 project to my Patreon, get it for free. I didn't add error or exception handling, the implementation is quick and dirty, but if you like, go ahead and extend it. Don't forget to subscribe and if you want to help this channel grow, please consider supporting me on my Patreon. Thanks for watching this, thanks for your support and see you here on JNM.